Archibald Chesterfield III here, AC3. And today I want to talk about being a one watch person. And I've been called all sorts of things like the Antichrist because I've said, beware of the shitter wristwatch. Beware of cheap, nasty wristwatches. And the real answer is, fuckers, you get what you pay for in a lot of things in life. And you are very wise to listen to Archibald Chesterfield III. So many people have taken my advice. i got so many friends who I've helped. And they are going to not be losing money when they need to get out of pieces. See, there's not much point being a collector of shitters because there's nothing really nice or great about it. You want pieces that are good, good watches. So you're much better off to have one decent watch instead of a box full of shitters. And uh, I, I, I would honestly say, what's a decent wrist watch? Depends what you like. What do you like in watches? But uh, I'd, I'd saying if you, you know, for general fuckers out there, general, general fuckers and hoi polloi, I'd be looking at the Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon. The one with the Helsolite glass and non-display back. The manual wine version. And, uh... I definitely wouldn't be getting, I would not be getting the limited edition with the leather strap. I mean, where else in the world do you pay more money for a supposed limited edition with no metal bracelet and a fucking leather strap? I mean, that's uh, the height of stupidity. And I've got to tell you, in my own opinion there itself, get a decent watch and you'll be done. I had a man, a fan of the channel, rang me last night. I was chatting to him, and he said he wants to get his son a decent wristwatch. Should he get the Breitling Blue Angel? And I said, look, stay away from that garbage. Best bang per buck, honestly, would be either an Amiga Speedmaster Man on the Moon, or a Rolex Explorer 2 pre 42 mil the 16570 I said that is a great those two pieces are great bang per buck they're pieces he can use forever and the Rolex is waterproof just make sure you pressure test it make sure those seals are okay but it's such a versatile usable piece you can use it forever forever and a day and really that's that's you know a quality wristwatch is something that you can behold and use for a long time it's not a short-term proposition this is a long-term hold and uh, I can't think of anything better than a Rolex or an Amiga Speedmaster man on the fucking moon. And Rolex, I mean, you could even go for a date just. You wanted a date just, go for a date just. Submariner, Submariner is a little bit expensive. I don't think they're great bang per buck, but they're a blue chip investment. And I mean, if you must be so stupid as to have to buy new Amiga Speedmaster man on the moon, or I'd be saying Datejust. Well, actually, Datejust is a bit, bit savage with the depreciation. I reckon the best watch, if you're buying new, would be a steel Daytona. Or, or, a Rolex Subby. A Subby. That's a, they're pretty well, you know, if you're gonna, gonna get slaughtered on depreciation, those two models, a Daytona in steel, or a, um, a subby are pretty fucking good things to be lumbered with. They are pretty cool fuckers. And this is the thing. One decent watch, you don't need a horde of shitters. One decent watch could be all you need. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, 
talking about the one watch person. Tell me what you nasty, vicious shitters think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great vid. Love the honesty. Love the shitters. Fuckers. Nasty fuckers. <laughs>